What's up, MMO Attack fans? This is Zach here, bringing you a first impressions video for Renaissance Heroes, a brand new MMO FPS just recently launched, published by GameFuse and developed by Chang Yu. What we have is the uh, channel selection screen. I'm recording this pretty late at night, so we have low population on the West server. Let's look at Europe, uh, pretty much the same story there. Let's go back to US West and we're going to go ahead and pick channel 1. So we're going to go ahead and click channel 1 and here we go. We're going to close out of that little menu and basically this is your standard lobby screen. You can see the number of games that are currently going on or that are accepting players right here at the left and or to the right and to the left of that of course you can create a room you can join a room you can have a practice game or you can spectate you got a little chat window all very very much standard fair standard type stuff and I should mention that this game is uh, unique in that it's it is a renaissance if you couldn't tell by the name renaissance or medieval based FPS which is definitely new territory for the genre I think and it works pretty cool uh, but you can take a look at some of the other options. You have quests, which basically are little things like kill no kill a certain number of enemies, or especially when you first start out, just kind of telling you how to go through the game, how to navigate your inventory, equip certain items. You have your profile, which tells you how much you win, your kill-death ratio, and stuff like that. Rankings, private messages, friends list, equipment screen, Here's my character. As you can see, the game's graphics are very, very good. It uses the Unreal 3 engine and it runs very, very well. But of course, the Unreal 3 engine is an incredibly great is an incredibly good engine especially for FPS games in general. Let's see and let's see if we can Oh yeah, okay. Uh, this game something something else unique about this game in addition to what I've said before, you actually pick from a certain number of characters which all have certain positives and negatives about them like this character here for example Rosie rifle attack damage bonus increased max ammo Barbarossa headshot defense special weapon attack and damage bonus Aisha crossbow attack damage bonus increased max hit points Medici which is my character all weapon firing rate bonus increased starting ammo Sika crossbow easy shot he easy headshot and this guy here, which is like a priest, his name is Bart. Increased rifle critical ratio, melee attack damage bonus. And Jacques, increased defense, increased max armor. We're going to go ahead and click cancel. We're going to try to jump into a game. So, well, before we do that, let's take a look at the cash shop, I should say. Let's look at the cash shop. And here's you can, here you can see a wide variety of different armor types, of different things available. You can switch, you can just look at the weapons. You can look at certain types of character armor, power-ups. Power-ups are interesting. They're little buffs which you can apply, you can equip and then apply to your character. They do all sorts of different things. For example, high explode well, yeah, high explosive says it increases bomb damage, primer increases rifle damage and so on. Let's see. And the currency that you use, I believe we can get away with buying some of this without having to spend real money that I'm not sure yeah I believe this is the way it works some of this at least possibly all of it can be purchased using in-game money which you will get I believe from completing uh, games and such or you can purchase coins using what they call game fuse tokens which convert directly to coins to spend in the cash shop so just however you want to do that so we're gonna go ahead and go back and we're gonna see what games are available it looks like we have deathmatch and team deathmatch the f the team deathmatch the free-for-all team deathmatch they're already playing so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the game it looks like it's a fairly uh, low pop low pop the game is not very well populated I should say but it's the only game currently going on right now that we can jump into so let's go ahead and do it okay as you can see this is the game graphics are very very nice and it's highly stylized again this is based off of uh, the renaissance a sort of a medieval flair to it a knights and, and armor and all that you notice some of these little things that I'm running across and if I can yeah, I got killed by that guy but the little the the uh, the red spiked balls which you run across those are basically your ammo pickups and the blue the blue pots or the blue vials are health pickups 
you get about five hit points for every little vial and about 30 to 100 or so for every one of the larger vials. Looks like we have another player that entered the game and hopefully he sucks worse than I do because I'm certainly not doing very well. Did I mention that FPS games aren't really my strong suit but I do the best I can. This game has a wide variety of game modes. A lot of it is very much your standard FPS fare. You have your capture the flag, you have your team deathmatch, you have your deathmatch, you have your standard king of the hill type game where you try to hold a certain territory for a certain number of um, for a certain time period, but it all has a very unique twist and that the setting, the setting is really cool. And this guy over here, and it's sort of, I don't know if it's my internet connection, I've been having some trouble with my computer lately. I don't know if it's my internet connection or if this game is just a little bit on the laggy side, but it can be hard to shoot other players because they seem to just be kind of fidgeting all over the place which I would attribute to lag but I don't know if it's lag on my end or lag on some other or, or lag on the uh, servers and, and I was right I was almost to that health pickup but it looks like I'm gonna have to wait and do something else so we're gonna run across that and you don't actually start out with max health you can increase your health as you go on like say for example you start out with a hundred hit points and you can actually increase your hit points as you run across these little vials. I'm not quite sure at what point you will max out or if you can max out. I would assume that you could or even if you couldn't, I somehow doubt that you would ever not get hit enough to actually max out your hit points, though I don't know how many I don't know how many hit points you can actually have. And if you want to go ahead and check the uh the score, you can press the tab key and there you go. You can see your kills, your deaths, highlights, and other certain scores and things of that nature. So we are good to go. This game, uh, one thing that's sort of a little weird to me is, is melee. Um, if I can avoid getting hit long enough to explain this to you. Is basically, and that would have been a perfect time to show you, but basically the way it works is you press the shift key, which sort of does two things. A, it makes you sprint, and B, it makes you pull out your weapon, or your melee weapon. And your melee weapon does a lot of damage, does a lot of up-close damage. But it, it can, what I mean, it, it's a little clunky in my opinion, because I'm just not used to hitting the shift key to pull out my melee weapon. And you hit it again, of course, to bring back, to bring out your gun again. And then, of course, you can use the numb keys or your standard mouse wheel to swap back and forth between your rifle and a crossbow. Your crossbow is sort of like the game's version of a grenade launcher. For example, I'm going to pull out my crossbow right here and I'm going to well, I'm going to get shot and killed by that guy there. But uh, I'm going to pull out my crossbow right now and I'm just going to shoot at that guy and as you can see it just kind of, it goes a little it goes further. Uh, it goes further than uh, my rifle, and it does a lot more damage, but it's harder to hit them because it, the, it sort of fires on an arc, so it's kind of like a grenade launcher. Now, you can throw actual grenades, or what basically amount to grenades. Again, and this is what's kind of weird. Looks like, <laughs> wow, I killed that guy. You have to switch to your melee weapon by pressing the shift button, and then you right-click. You cannot throw grenades while you have your... Uh, your guns equipped either gun not not your rifle or your crossbow if you want to throw grenades you have to have your melee weapon out and if you're not used to this game like I am and you are sort of I guess confused on how to play anyway it, it's it's not exactly it, it's not exactly intuitive let me just say that it's not the most intuitive thing in the world uh, so th this standard deathmatch is basically the first person to get to 40 it doesn't look like any of us are probably going to reach 40 by the time that it's all said and done. So we're the, the time limit is probably going to run out on us. We have about 3 minutes and 14 to 3 minutes of about 3 minutes and 10 seconds by the time I get through talking left in this match. And I'm not doing too terribly bad. I could be doing a lot better. Maybe these guys are all just as big a noobs as I am because I have played several matches and I've gotten my tail handed to me. <laughs> So it really, it really just, I guess it really just depends on the, the players that I'm playing with. Sometimes I do well, and sometimes I don't. But uh, I'm really impressed with the graphics of this game. I know I've uh, already mentioned the Unreal 3 engine, but the characters are incredibly detailed. It, it reminds me a lot of the, of, um, 
C9, the character models from C9, and I don't know, that somebody can correct me in the chat, but there, there's a possibility that that game also runs off the Unreal 3 engine. Although I wasn't sure when I first played this game, uh, this game of course being Renaissance Heroes, I wasn't sure if this was the Unreal engine or the Source engine, because for some reason, especially the environments, kind of remind me of the Source engine. But either way, I do. I it's it's a very colorful game. It's 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 a, it's a lot of fun to play because it's a huge. It's I don't want to say a huge departure, but it is certainly a departure from your standard military g generic military based uh, FPS MMO FPS. This is a very unique setting. E even if it doesn't really do a lot unique, it looks unique. And so it can definitely, I don't want to say waste a few hours, that, 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 that sort of carries a negative connotation, but I will say that it is definitely something fun to play for a little while if you're bored of the standard traditional FPS game. And we're almost done with this match, and I'm actually in the lead right now, which is, uh, again, I don't know what that's, if that says more about the other players than, than actually my skill level, because I know I'm not very good at uh, MMO FPS games, but let's hope that um, in about one minute I can actually remain in the lead. Where'd everybody go? I, I need to, I, they, they're, they're kind of blowing into my lead here, and I need to make sure I kill somebody. A lot of the kills in this game, you're, you're gonna just kind of, like, like, like it's happening to me right there, you're just gonna kind of run into people and you're gonna shoot him from behind and I really hope that I can get another kill in before the timers the time runs out got him oh he's in first ah oh, no I'm, I'm a kill behind now that's just great just great I went way too long without finding anybody to kill that was not good so I have about 30 seconds what I, I really feel like I'm getting ripped off here I mean I really do uh, let's see I'm gonna kill I got that guy now I'm still one kill short Where's somebody else? Anybody else? Come on. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. And I'm going to I, I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. If I got I got nine seconds to kill just one person. Five seconds. Four. Three. That's not that's ridiculous. I can't believe that. It's just the last minute of the game I saw basically no one to kill for like 30 seconds. I don't know, they must have been on the complete other end of the map. But anyway, that's pretty good. I, it's, it's not often that you'll see me in an FPS and I'll actually get more kills than deaths. Anyway, as you can see, this is your standard result screen. You get a certain amount of experience and a certain amount of EXP. You level up, standard fare, you get items and money for leveling up. So we can go ahead and play another game if we want. But I don't think I want to do that. I want to go ahead and go back, and I want to see what else is available. Touchdown. This is. A, I don't think I've played Touchdown, so we're going to go ahead and click in here, play another game. I'm not familiar with this game mode, or at least I don't think I am. Maybe I am, but I'm just not quite sure. So the game is going to start in about three seconds. Here we go. Maybe it'll tell us how to play. If not, we can sort of figure it out as we go. Castles Turkey, these castle ruins, what? Yeah, this game loads fast, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I don't even have an SSD, and this game loads in just like five seconds. I like that too. Uh, especially after playing games like um, The Old Republic, which I know is not an FPS, but still, it's ridiculous load times. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't know how to play Touchdown. I... <laughs> This should be an interesting experience for me. This is probably the one game mode that I haven't actually tried. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I, I probably should not have messed with those guys. They were double teaming me. They're going to jump up here. What's he going to do? I'm not going to see what he's going to do. There's the guy that killed me. It's very, very easy. And he just teleports out of the way. That's just great. It's very, very easy to tell who your enemies are, which I like that. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen my video for Gotham City Imposters, if you're watching this on the MMO Attack channel, you've probably never seen it because you haven't, you, you don't know my videos, my exclusive videos, and the, the one com criticism I had for that game was it, it became very, very difficult to actually see who the enemies were because you all kind of looked the same, but in this game, you do look the same because you're, you're pretty much the same characters no matter if you are uh, fighting them or they are fighting you. You play as the same characters. Sometimes the guys you kill look exactly like you do. But the difference here really is the fact that it will show you. 
it'll, there'll be like a little orange icon or a, a number one icon or a red skull icon. If you see any of those icons, it's gonna mean that that's the enemy. That's who you have to kill. Number one means that that's, they're currently ranked number one in the match, and I just got destroyed by that person. Number one means you're ranked number one in the match. The skull, I believe, means that you were just recently killed by that person, and you can get revenge. And just an orange mark means that they're members of the other team. So, it's again, it's very, very easy to determine who you're actually supposed to be shooting, which to me is a huge help. And I think that person got a power-up, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. God, Bless. Who shot me? Got shot from behind there. I didn't even see him. And I haven't. I don't think I've ran across any of this stuff. But uh, there are power ups in this game. Very arcade like. Well, there's one right there. A shield it gives me plus 30 armor. But I don't know if that really a, a power up. There are some power ups that you can get which do, for example, um, they increase your damage by two, for example, and I'm just going to get killed again. Yeah, see, this is an example of a game which I'm not doing so well in. And we are losing by one point. I don't know uh, if, if this goes on for another seven minutes, or if this is just something that after they reach a certain predetermined point in time that, they act, that the game is actually over. I know that in the capture the flag game that I played earlier today, I think you only had to capture the flag about three, four, maybe five times. I'm not quite so sure. And this guy is definitely, or did, did I guess I assisted with that kill. <laughs> I'll say that anyway. This guy's just jumping all over the place. You see how hard it can be? I mean, I got an assist there. But you see up close and personal, it really, just how hard it can actually be. Oh, I, I scored. Wow. But you see, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I did. I guess you just have to go over there, like just run over there. I, I don't understand that. But um, you can sort of see, I guess, how difficult it is to actually shoot somebody, because when you're, especially when you're up close, because it's just like they're just jumping all over the map, and I killed him and he killed me there. <laughs> so it's sort of a small map. A lot of the maps in this game are sort of small. I'm not sure if there's any... If there are bigger ones, there, there's actually some maps... I've not seen before. I've actually only, for some reason, I don't know if people just like playing them, people that have played the beta that have a lot more experience with this game, or I don't quite know what the reason is, but I've only seen probably about three or four maps, I would say. And I think that there, I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, this is a good example. There, there are more maps than what I've seen. I just don't know why I haven't seen them. Anyway, we are not doing so well. But, I mean, you can take a look. I mean, this guy here, we this, this guy that's um, on top of the other team, he's level 20. I'm only level 5, so obviously he's been playing this game a lot longer than I have. I got 30 armor. And so, yeah, I guess that's the point. You just have to kind of got to run to the other end of the, of the zone. Um, was there, I, th I think maybe there was like an Unreal Tournament game that was, um, an, uh, a game mode in Unreal Tournament that was similar to this. I'm not sure. Well, this game, they're just, the red team's just kind of running away with this. I wonder if uh, if my team is just as clueless about how to play this mode as I am, or as I was. I think I kind of I got the hang of this now. Um, but we are sort of we we are really falling off. The, we're we're falling off the edge here, and we gotta kind of figure out what's going on. Am I gonna be able to make it over there? Probably not. Oh no no no! That was close. Wow. He was just waiting on me. Let's see. I'm going to run back this way. Maybe we should just stand here and basically do what that guy did and just kill some people that way. Or let's just try to run in through the side and maybe we can sneak in a few points. I, kinda, I like this game mode. It's kind of fun. And we're going to jump up here, jump this little jump pad. And there's a guy <laughs> who's probably going to kill me before I can reach. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. I, I tried so hard. Game modes like this, I'm not even really... Well, this is sort of funny that I would say this, considering I'm getting handed to me, but game modes like this, I'm not even so much concerned with kill-death ratio. I'm just trying to score points, and and I got hit by something right as I was jumping on that thing, and it knocked me off of it. Great. And I had double da I had the double damage power-up, too. I'm not even sure how I got it. Maybe somebody got killed, and I picked it up as I was flying down, <laughs> as I was running down the, the over there. And let's see, I got the special weapon, which probably isn't going to do me much good. Oh, that guy's in first place. I'm going to try to shoot the ground. I got him! Yes! 
Uh, what? That is so cheap. That is so cheap. I had like full health and the guy is going to sit there and one shot me with his crossbow. I don't like that. I mean, he's just going to sit there with his little crossbow and snipe people anytime they get anywhere close to the freaking thing. That's 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 ridiculous. And that idiot is going to sit there and try to shoot me off the jump pad every single time. But let's see what we can do. Let's run over here. Am I actually going to be able to score some points? Yes. 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 He didn't even see me. Awesome. Awesome. That guy did not even see me coming. And I, I hate though that when you do that, it doesn't it doesn't give you more point. It doesn't give you more hit points. So it's like it's sort of like a respawn, but not really because I still only have 16 hit points and the, the enemy, one of the enemy players could so much as sneeze on me and I would probably die. Like that's a good case right there. That June guy who is uh, number one on the other side has 25 kills. Well, how many deaths does he have? Does it say? I don't, I don't see that, but I imagine he has a lot more uh, kills and deaths than I have. Look at that guy. He's just going to get the points there. Gonna get the special weapon again, and I'm going to try to make a mad dash, which is probably not a good idea because there's way more people on the other side of the map than there are my own team. Where's my own team? Uh, let's see. Okay, there they are, and we're gonna just I'm gonna follow this guy. I'm gonna see where he where where does he, where'd he go? It's it's hard to like I said it's hard to follow people. I don't know. Maybe I need to. I don't think I have any viruses on my computers. I, I This could be just the game. I haven't really been playing any other FPS titles to, to say, but any other MMO type games that I have played, I haven't noticed any lags. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's weird. But I mean, you can just, you guys can see how they're just kind of darting all over the place. It's hard to follow them, even harder to shoot them. Yeah, let's see. They are all over this side of the map. <laughs> And let's, let's maybe we can just sneak past them like we did the last time. Maybe we can just sneak past them. I'm gonna go ahead and run up. Oh, so close, so close. Looks like the other guy got in there though. He got them points. We have about a minute and a half left. They've got 24. We've got 14. Yeah, I think this game, unless it's gonna go to like 50 or some such, I think this game is gonna end after the time limit's over. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna jump up here. And try to hit him with the bow. No, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna get these health pickups. That's one one thing we're gonna do. Way up, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that, was he? And we're gonna jump on this thing. Yes, here we go. And am I gonna? No. What? 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 <laughs> that was ridiculous. I landed on the. I landed on the other jump pad. <laughs> I jumped from one jump pad to the other, and it made me jump up again. That's ridiculous. I wish you could see your ping though. That is one like you, you you can press tab and you can't see your ping. So I really don't even know. I believe I am lagging, but I don't know how bad because I can't see my own ping. So maybe I should log into something like Call of Duty after I finish this and actually see what my ping is because I have played it before and I know what it ought to be. And if it's not what it ought to be, then something's probably wrong. <laughs> Touchdown! I scored a point there. So it's now 20 to 27, but we only have 10 seconds left. So this game is pretty much over, as fun as it was. Maybe I can score one more time. I just don't think so, though. Yeah, there we go. Zero seconds, you lose. Depressing. And the jump pad didn't even... Wow. June got the MVP. MVP is basically who has the most points or who is ranked number one. And if you have the most points, you will be ranked number one because... Not all matches are based off of your kill death ratio. This is one of them. So I got some EXP there, but nothing major. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go back and just see if there's anything else available for us to play right now. But you can check the game types Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch, Seize the Scrolls. Seize the Scrolls is basically Capture the Flag, Duel. Not quite, I haven't played Duel yet. Touchdown, which is what we just played. Domination, that's sort of the uh, King of the Hill type game. Melee only, melee only, or melee only, rifle only, crossbow only. Variations of different types of game modes. Your standard fare. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this first impressions video for Renaissance Heroes. If you guys want to check out more about the game, head on over to MMOattack.com for more information about this game, more MMO gaming news, reviews, opinions, and other awesomeness.